Hello creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are designed to focus in like a laser beam on one thing in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials that drone on and on to get to that nugget, that thing you've been struggling with. So this way you can just watch this quick video, learn how to do it and move on. You're welcome. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can substitute fonts by swapping out fonts that you don't have for ones that you do. So it begins when you open a new file in InDesign. Let's say you open a file that you don't have the font for. You'll see the Creative Cloud Type Kit Missing Fonts dialog box. And in your file that's previewing, it's showing you with a light pink or peach highlight the copy that uses the font that you have missing. So when you open up a brand new file that you don't have the fonts for, you will get this error dialog box. So what you do here is you select the font that's missing and you choose Find Font. Then you'll see the Find Font dialog box. And right here with a big old yield sign, it tells you, you don't have that font. So you select that font that you don't have. Then down here in the Replace With section, you choose a font that you do have. In this case, I'll keep it simple and just say Minion Pro Regular. In general, you wanna swap out medium or regular fonts with medium or regular fonts. You want to swap out bold fonts with bold fonts. And sometimes this can also be called heavy or semi-bold or demi. So with this, I select it, choose the font I want to replace it with, and then critical. You must click change all. Don't just click done. You have to change all instances of the missing font. So with that, now I have, in this case, Gil Sans and Minion Pro. I click Done Now, and there you go. The missing font has been replaced with one that I do have. Imagine, if you will, that you have to get started on a project, but you don't have all of the original fonts. And let's say instead of swapping out the font for one that you do have, you decide that you're going to keep working on the file because maybe the originator is going to email you the font. So when you open up your file and you get to the missing fonts dialog box, let's say you don't want to deal with swapping out the font just yet, or you're waiting on that font. But of course, deadlines don't wait. So in this scenario, instead of choosing find fonts, which would be the ideal, so you don't have to look at these highlights and know that you have fonts missing, you just proceed on and choose close. That closes out that missing fonts dialog box. Now, as you work through your file, you are going to be kind of annoyed with light pink or peach highlights that indicate that you're missing that font. But let's say you're waiting on the font to come and you just need to keep working on the file. For sure, you can't export out your final file here without the font. So you'll have to get the font eventually, but what I'm saying is sometimes you need to begin on a project. You know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Jelly bean? All right, so here I've just zoomed in on my file by hitting Command or Control Plus, and you can really see the missing font now. Imagine now in this scenario that the originator of the file has finally emailed you the font. So in an ideal world, you would install the font first and then come to your file. And then it would swap out automatically or recognize it. But let's say you are going to switch it to another font. 
you know, it's time to export this file. The originator didn't give you the original font they used for the design. So you're going to make that executive decision. We're going to swap out the font, but you've already closed up the dialog box. So here's how you swap out a font after that initial missing fonts dialog box. You'll come to type and come down to find font. When you choose find font, the dialog box opens. Looks familiar. This time it's called find font, but just like before, you could select the missing font noted with ye old yield sign, warning, missing, and then swap it out with a font that you do have. Again, I could use my basic Minion Pro regular or any font that I have in my dropdown. So with that, the last critical step, clicking change all, it swapped it out. I can actually even see the preview and I click done. So that's how you can substitute fonts either initially when you first open the file or at any point while you're working on the file. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.